we're protesting Proposition A, um, the passage of it, because it's taking yeah. away the civil rights of uh, uh, a minority that we believe it should be protected by the Constitution. Why do you think it passed? Uh, we think it passed because a group of people uh, were able to get a lot of financial support and get a lot of people scared about what it would mean to have same-sex marriage, something that had been uh, available for quite a few months. And uh, they got a lot of people to believe that their kids would be taught about gay marriage in schools, which isn't true. A lot of lies and uh, a lot of hatred behind those lies were able to be spread, and a slight majority uh, was able to pass this proposition, some of it from fear. I think um, it's important to show up and, and protest something that takes away people's rights, mine included. And why do you think the, why do you think that people, the general public, voted against against? Oh well, I I my best my best guess is ignorance, um, and I guess my worst fear is not that it's not ignorance, that it's just people hating. Um, and not understanding that, you know, that uh, people deserve equal rights. And um, what do you think, what, what was the norm that's involved in all this? Really? Oh, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm not about singling out particular groups. I think it's just important that um, any group that's oppressed gets the rights that they deserve. And I think we're a long way from that in this country, unfortunately. And, all right, what do you think is the most important thing to talk about today? Social justice. I don't think it's just about equal marriage. I think it's about working with people that are oppressed to, uh, you know, have the movement go forward. I love you, Los Angeles. Thank you, Tori Osborne. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, thank you uh, for the decades that you have stood there, sometimes all alone, oftentimes with others. Uh, a visionary, make no mistake. Give her a big hand, Tori Osborne. I understand that the genesis for this demonstration began with one person on a blog, on the internet, communicating to another person. It started in Seattle, and here we are in Los Angeles. As far as the eye can see, we're here today because we believe that California is a golden state. I want to say to them, please, when you're asked to be evacuated, please leave as quickly as possible. We're talking about the fires now. We want you, we want you to be as safe as we can. We've lost more structures than we have in any fire uh, in recent memory. Our firefighters are there with our police officers. We want everyone to please uh, cooperate as much as we can. We're at the mercy of winds that we can't uh, control at this time. But I've come from the fires because I feel the wind behind my back as well. It's the wind of change that has swept the nation. It is the wind of optimism and hope that has swept the nation. In many ways, it began here. You see, when our great nation was in a crisis, about to be divided by war, California chose to be a free state, not a slave state. From our very beginning, California decided that we would lead the way. California decided that we would join the cause of freedom. And here we are in front of this August City Hall that you've honored me with the ability to lead. Here we are, and we're here today to say that LA will lead the way. We believe that in this state, this great constitution 
that has always stood for freedom and rights and equality, that if this Constitution can't just be changed with a drop of a hat. No, you can't deny a fundamental right just because a majority says so. We wouldn't be able to do that if the majority said that Antonio Villaraigosa can't be your mayor or a Jack Weiss can't be your council member. We wouldn't be able to do that. The Constitution can't, has always been a document that speaks out for the rights the fundamental rights of people, for the liberty that we cherish and love, for the liberty that we fight and die for. And so we come today, we come today to begin a conversation because it's not just going to be about demonstrations. It's not just going to be about the internet. We're going to have conversations in our neighborhoods in our schools, in our churches, in every civic institution, in our unions, at City Hall, in the halls of Congress, in the legislature, in e we're going to take every opportunity to begin that conversation all the way to the White House. Voy a hablar en español. Porque creo que es muy importante to talk to our friends and our family. This is not about a march on November 15th. This is not about the anger and the pain and the disappointment that we all feel just a few short days after this election. We are committed. We believe in this great state. We believe in this great America. We believe that we can, that all things are possible. And we will continue our fight until every one of us has the right, the fundamental right, to marry, to live in liberty and freedom, to be able to participate, to have the full civil rights that we expect in this great country we love so much. God bless you all. In Utah, they, the cost they, of justice. They really did discriminate against you? The cost of yes, they freedom. did. No? The cost yeah. of yeah. I was actually kicked out by my apartment manager. He said because I was gay that they would lose, they would lose money if, racism, I, if uh, I gave birth to them. Discrimination and hatred in all of its ugly forms. I lived in uh, my campus housing in the Brigham Young University in Utah. And it's a, they have contracts that all of us have to sign. Whether you're, whether you're uh, in the church or not, you have to sign these contracts. And you're going to buy by all church rules. The fight for justice affects all of us and requires all of us to You know, I think that it's important for us to just sort of stand up and say that we're not going to take this anymore. But that we need change. And I think sometimes we have to do this by, by protesting. And by boycotting places. And what do you think is the most important and comes from um, us. I think the main thing is so to say that we all deserve the same rights as everybody else. As I know that uh, we're citizens just like everybody else. We pay our taxes, so we deserve the same rights. I have